Morning. Did a pre trip. Got breakfast, sausage, egg, and cheese, waffle sandwich. These are good. I know it's not the greatest, so hush. But um, we'll see if my stomach can can handle this today. <clears throat> setting up, the, just doing all the setting up, resetting all the tablets and everything, getting everything updated to work today. So I noticed uh, as I was getting out to do my pre-trip, uh, another SFI driver was parking. I get out, open the hood. Start doing my walk around. By the time I get back up front, he's kind of up here, just kind of chilling. We talk. Nice guy. We talk for about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes, just bullshitting. You know, and I'm continuing, you know, I'm doing my pre trip as we're chatting. Um, you know, we can multitask. Do your, do your work and talk at the same time. I know that's a hard concept for a lot of people. You ain't got to stay in there and chat. You can do your work and chat too. So, <clears throat> and as I'm, of course, going through my different places, you know, he's kind of, he's, he's, he's following me, hanging out with me. And, uh, yeah, nice guy, super nice guy. He's running the Midwest, which is what I'm trying to kind of attempt to do. I'm kind of run, running, I'm kind of attempting to run the Midwest to the South and all that. I'm stalling because I'm, I'm hoping a board, a load will pop up out of, a, out of that Walmart. And, um, you know, keep me moving so I ain't got a deadhead 180 miles on a trip that I think I might do going down to Waco from Olathe, Kansas but we'll see we'll see how it works out right now I'm uh, two hours away from delivery it's currently 9 30 9 25 a.m. Friday October 4th so yeah I'm gonna eat breakfast and then look at the board one more time before I leave and then just hit the road get this day started thank all y'all for being here thank all y'all for being here every day you guys are amazing i love you i love the hell out of y'all um i know it sounds corny and shit you know but it's true and that's why we do things like this we do things one so we can document our own journeys and somewhere later in life i'll come back and i'll look at these videos i'll be like ah look at me how dumb i was or damn i was mad that day or damn that was a good day you know whatever whatever but also to share the experience with uh with the internet in the world and hopefully by doing that gain some uh, interaction which is a big thing about uh, social media is interaction and and uh, connection and hopefully some of my experiences can help others and one thing I do know for a fact is I've learned so much from you guys just in the comments um, which sometimes alter my thinking because I look at things a different perspective because of you so thank you for all that appreciate it all right Enough of that sobbing, sobbing crap. Brr. We're men. <laughs> Let's get this day going. All right, we made a delivery at Walmart, and uh, we just did our pre-trip on the empty we're picking up. Just did the brake test. Just now letting the air, uh, air back up. Now I'm looking to see because I, I couldn't unfortunately Wait, what? No 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 Unfortunately I wasn't able to find anything out of here so I booked a load from Lawrence, Kansas, which said it was in the app 190 miles away. I was willing to deadhead 190 miles and pick it up in the morning and deliver it tomorrow in Wilmer. Um now it says 250 miles away. Let me just put it into Trucker Path and see its post consumer brands, okay? In Lawrence, Kansas, 250 miles away. So I gotta call them back, say take it off of me. I'm not going, 200's pushing it. I'm not gonna go 250 for this shitty ass rate because now that there's 50 extra miles or 60 extra miles of deadhead the rates even worse I booked it for a, after my deadhead a dollar thirty a mile uh, it's been a thousand bucks from there to Wilmer uh, but after my 250 mile deadhead now it's probably gonna be like a dollar twenty a mile I'm not going that far for that so let me call them have them take it off of me all right take it off of me but man there's nothing there's nothing that's like 
I do a 200 mile search and 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 I even do a 300 mile search and you know if I can just uh, I would go 300 miles if even after that my rate would be like a buck 50 plus or duck 60 maybe even a dollar 40 just depending on delivery day and all that shit and weight and a bunch of variables we, we all know that it's just it's just nothing so what I'm gonna do I've been here at this Walmart long enough I'm gonna go ahead and uh, finish out my damn Finish up my damn uh, task 204952, right? 204952. 204952. Finish up my task here. This uh, attaches empty to me. I got to capture paperwork, which is right here. I, I give you a sticker. This is your POD with sticker. Put your sticker on your, on your BOL. And then uh, what we got to do. Capture, take our tablet. I lay right here on the steering wheel. Um, I get up high like this, get a full image, hit capture, hold steady for a minute. There we go, it's captured and good picture, good picture. Hit use photo and then click save. Side guard assist. Motherfucker, ain't nobody side guarding me. Shut up. Um, now hit submit in images. This bad boy up there. Hello, file truck, big time file truck. Be a big old truck driver, file truck. Um, get rid of that. It's send. Maintenance came through already. Holy crap! Two zero four nine five two. Good condition. Yes, it is. Let's do that. Mark is red. All that crap. Skip the report. Additional expenses. And skip capture other paperwork. And skip the rate my location. And we'll go ahead and just mark complete, close that task out completely, go on duty, uh, yard move to check out. Next, next, and confirm changes. So that said, I'm gonna go to that pilot. Remember that pilot I had to spend 25 bucks to park at night <laughs> earlier this week? I'm gonna go over there. You know what, matter of fact, maybe I won't. Let me bring up trucker path real quick. Big boy needs a truck wash. It's only 12.30 in the afternoon, so let's do this. Let's do, let's hit truck stops. Let me hit uh, where I'm at. Let's look up, let's bring up everything, not just pilot flying jet. Bring them all up. Let me do this, do that. Closest to me is the Workman's Travel Center in Lowell, which is seven miles away. It's a very small little place. That pilot in Springdale was once. There's a Loves in Sassaf on Sassafras, Sassafras in Watts, Oklahoma. 20 miles away. Oh, that's over there around Salem Springs, I think. Is that right? Is that the one that's showing me? Sassafras. It's actually 27 miles away. Trucker path be, be Jones and <clears throat> I, don't know, I think it's probably best if I just go to that pilot try to grab a, uh, a free parking spot if I can let me just hit directions give me 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 and navigate yeah we're gonna go over there just to with with hope something pops up Hopefully today. I don't want to wait. Let me do one quick, quick one one quick look at this board real quick. No, no, no. Now there are some a few, a few little loads, three hundred dollar loads, which winds up being like a two twenty a mile, going over into Tulsa, Oklahoma, uh, in the area. And the issue with those is, is you pick them up now. They don't they don't do until Monday, and they're at 1900, 2100 delivery time to live unload. So I'm not going to do that. And there's also some good loads coming out of this area. Starting Tuesday, <laughs> like there's one from here going to Lithia Springs, Georgia, uh, 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 sixteen hundred dollars, like a dollar sixty-eight a mile or something. So, and, and there's there's some decent loads coming out starting next week, but not like now. So, okay, well that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go go ahead and get out of here and go to the pilot, and hopefully, like I said, hopefully we can find something. We shall see how it all works out.
crank that air down a bit. It's a little warm. It's 92 degrees out. Um, we decided, you that little workman's travel plaza? I decided to stop here instead of going to Pilots. I know what the Pilots all about, right? I don't know what this place is all about, but it's, the, the thing says there ain't 34 parking spots. No, this place is, this place is pretty big. It's got the travel center right here, the workman's right here, and you got come and go next, or is it? Oh, it's all come and go, I think. I don't recall. You had to go around in the back and all that crap to get in here. They got reserve spots over there because they're marked out as reserved. Uh, about no oh, a dozen or so and then you got this whole row down the wall and you got the whole row on that side so I'd say there's probably at least 80 spots here um, but uh, first thing I did is I of course I went to the board I'm, I'm gonna watch that board like a hawk like a freaking eagle flying down to get a freaking uh, 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 fish out of the pond I'm gonna try to swoop down and snack that shit up see anything that pops up uh, randomly but I don't want to stay here I, I I don't. It's it's one o'clock in the afternoon. I don't I don't I don't want to sit here. I don't. I want I want to I want to earn. Damn it! I want to earn. <sighs> but it is what it is. So we're gonna walk in here to the travel center. Because I would like to get a fresh water. And I still have some water left in my fridge. But I want to preserve that for times where I need to have water in my fridge. You know, like if I'm in a rest area or some shit. And I don't want to go into the vending machine. or I, 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 Shut the hell up, country. Alright, so let's walk inside. I'm going to take the phone with me. And if anything looks interesting, I'll show you. But odds are probably isn't but uh, I'm not hungry because I had breakfast there what, about nine o'clock about four hours ago so I'm not hungry at all my belly's been uh, nice uh, uh, acceptance of those breakfast sandwiches that I had so that's a good thing my stomach's saying okay we like that you can have it you can keep it <laughs> anyway I'm gonna walk inside Oh, we just got back in the truck. Now, this is a nice little truck stop. I say little, but it's not little. Um, this is the Workman's Travel Center, Lowell, and uh, off of I-49, exit 78, in Lowell, Arkansas. Um, it's got a little restaurant there. It's got fried things. got cooked full quick meals they got a whole bunch of I mean it's not it's not, not nothing extravagant of course but I was talking to them they have what I like which is my little geek bar brand uh a vape they have those in there so I uh, stocked up on a few of those I spent 110 dollars in there because I did get a few things from their um, little uh what's it called OMG Ozark Mountain Grill um I got a cage of meat pie I got a chicken and cheese Totito, I got a uh, steak and cheese burrito, and I got a Bodin, Bodin sausage link, which I'm going to try. Um, and I asked him about reserve park, where it has the reserve, reserve, that's the reserve parking, right? And all this, all the way down and over there, is the free parking. Now, I told you this is my first time here, and just for future knowledge, how much is reserve parking? Said fifteen dollars a night. So I'm telling you, if I ever had to stick around here again, I'm coming here. Uh, even if I got to pay for reserve parking, it's twenty five bucks, twenty seven forty four at the tax of that pilot is ridiculous, and that pilot's three miles from here. So if you have a choice in this area, come to Workman's Travel Center off of exit number seventy eight off of I forty nine. But I'm gonna get those little fried munchies out and uh, and and. You know what? I'm gonna do it with you. I'm gonna hang you up. I caught my curtains black. My my curtain closed because of the sun's like right here. So let's see. I did get two of these. One, ah, two, two Gatorade waters. I'm hot and I'm thirsty. I started to grab a monster, but I was like, I don't. I just don't. I just don't want a monster. I want water. And before I start recording, I looked at the board again. Not 
something. So I'm hoping something will show up tomorrow, this evening, tomorrow, or something. See these things. These are like $27 plus tax each. A little higher than I'm used to, but this brand is gaining popularity, so the price on all these are going up. This will last me a month or more. Here is the, I feel like if my stomach's going to reject anything, it's going to be this, but we'll see. But I want to try the sausage link first. So let's try, let's try this. I have been unsuccessful in finding anything boudin that has good flavor. I did find some boudin balls recently, or a few weeks ago. Because I love Cajun food and spice and stuff like that. This actually isn't bad. not bad. It's one of those flavors that I can eat, but I can't, I won't be able to eat a bunch of them. After, like, after I eat that entire sausage thing, I'd probably be like, okay, I'm done with that flavor. Let's take a bite of the meat pie. So they see, she said Cajun meat pie. Just as good as the uh, meat pies I get at the, at the Flying J in New Caney down at where I park in Texas. Yeah, I'm good. That's good. Oh, this is that chicken and cheese taquito, whatever. Yeah, for sure. That's really good. Now let's try this steak and cheese burrito. I think they were each like four or five dollars each. So I said, let me just get one of each. Let me just try them. cheese yeah um but i will say i think my favorite part of a, a bite uh, each of those samples that chicken and cheese taquita thing that's really good and the meat pies anyway um we're just hanging out right now it's just now two o'clock so hopefully we'll find something <laughs> sorry y'all i'm laying here in bed and i realized I haven't completed the video today. It's 9.51 in the p.m. I did a live stream with uh, the Fly Rabbit over on his channel, James. I need to start uh, putting on a community tab. I'm going to put James's link to his channel in the description of this video. Or the pinned post, actually. I'm going to pin a comment. Because I have committed with him to go live every Friday night on his channel. Usually around... 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, regardless of wherever we're at, and um, it's it's fun times. Usually, me, him, and uh, Life on 18 Wheels, one of his friends, I guess one of my friends now. The last week, Ko was on there with us, and it's usually three or four of us. Won't be won't be any more than that. But I noticed a few of you guys were over in the chat tonight, so I don't know if you just kind of happened to 
if you follow James's channel or not, you, I think you probably do, but, uh, and if you don't, go ahead, he's a good guy, um, I ain't got my hat on, so I'm just kind of keeping my hair back, um, yeah, we just kind of talk about a week, um, weekly recap from owner-operator, from me, a Snyder perspective, he's, uh, J.B. Hunt and Life on 18 Wheels is, uh, uh, Landstar, we chat, communicate, we, we, you know, we chat about our weeks and interact with the chat quite a bit, have conversations and just have a good time. So I'm going to put a pin post in this video. If it's not early, like if you're watching this, like right at 4:30 or work, when it goes live, it probably won't be there then. Cause I gotta, I can't do it till after it goes live. And if I'm driving while it goes live, there'll be <laughs> a link in the pin comment at some point of this video. If you want to go subscribe to his channel, and then every Friday night at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we do a live show. Um, I haven't been been able to set one up on my channel, so uh, he invited me to his, and it's kind of going well, so yeah, I'm not sure I'll come out and hang out with you. Why not? Anyway, that's it, guys. Thanks for <laughs> thanks for hanging out with me today. Uh, we, we got a load in the morning. We're going up to Kansas City. Uh, we are going to end up deadheading 220 miles for this load, take it down to Louisville, Texas, and deliver it Sunday. So, um, yeah, we got to load out of here further than I want to go, but you know what? You got to keep running. So I'm going to get up in the morning. I should be up there about noon or 1. I'll drive till about 5 or 6, and then deliver it Sunday before noon, and then uh, try to find a follow-up bus. Right now, I'm not seeing nothing coming out of the Dallas area. Uh, on Sunday, so unless something does pop up, I'll be stuck. At, I'll, I'll just stay at Walmart Sunday night, perhaps. We'll see. We'll see what happens, and then get something out of there Monday. But anyway, that's it. Thanks for so much for watching and hanging out with me today. And uh, have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow.